Welcome to my mathematics class. Today we are going to look at um, <clears throat> a topic in form form. This is a continuation of what we had started last time on loci. We have looked at the different types of loci, but today we want to concentrate on the constant angle locus. Now, this one is actually an application of the circle geometry that was done in Form 2. In Form 2, we looked at the angle subtended by uh, a chord on the circumference, and we also looked at the angle subtended by a chord at the center. And we remember the relationship between the, the angle subtended by a chord at the center of a circle, we found that it is twice or two times the size of the angle subtended at the circumference. Um, this is the theorem that we are going to apply in doing the constant angle locus. And um, there is a question which is going to act as our example. We have um, a given line AB and we are told that on both sides of the given line AB, this one, construct the locus of a point P that moves such that the angle APB, that means um, that angle will be somewhere here, A, P, B, or uh, even on the other side, because we are told on both sides of the given line. That means we expect P to be somewhere here, A, P, B, or A, P, B. And we are told that that angle is equal to 30 degrees. Now, if we treat this one as a chord of a given circle, and then we are able to get the center of that circle, we will be able to subtend an angle at the center. And because we would like angle APB to be 30 degrees, then it means the angle at the center of that circle should be twice that, based on the theorem that we, uh, we, we did in Form 2. And therefore, what we need to do is construct an angle of 60 so, as, uh, so that we identify the center, because we know the angle at the center is going to be 60. So we need to um, construct uh, an, uh, an angle at the center uh, 60 degrees. But if this is going to be a chord, then we need to complete a triangle. And the angle at the center will be 60, meaning we need an equilateral triangle which will have 60 degrees here, 60 degrees here, and 60 at the center. So that when we make this code to subtend an angle at the circumference, that angle is going to be 30 degrees. So we want now to go ahead and do that. We are going to construct an angle of 60 degrees uh, at A, an angle of 60 degrees at B, and then we know um, if that's 60 and the other one is 60 and the sum of angles in a triangle is 180 then the angle at the center here will be 60 degrees and we can now use that as our center and make the chord subtend an angle of uh, uh, 30 at the circumference. So let's construct an angle of 60. You open up your pair of com compasses, uh, given radius and you strike an arc and then um, strike an arc and from this point where the arc meets the line AB you strike another arc then using the same radius we will go the, we already now have a 60 degree angle we can even um, complete that we can join A to this point here like that and that uh, gives us now 60 degrees at A. We also need 60 degrees at B. OK. 
Okay. So, follow the same procedure, same angle, then from here, the same radius, then from here, we construct another 60 degree angle at B. Okay, there we have it. We have uh, 60 degrees here, 60 degrees here, and therefore, this will be our center, O. You can call it O. And this angle, you are sure now, is 60 degrees. It means then, if we place our sharp, the sharp point of our compass at O, and uh, we use radius OA, we can complete a circle. Um, we can complete a circle that will touch this line at A and at B, which makes AB now a chord. Once we do that, we find that AB will become a chord, and we'll know that any angle subtended at the circumference of that circle will be a half of 60. So, um, I'd like to extend this line a little so that I, I see the center clearly. And now I'm ready to construct uh, the circle radius OA. So remember that this is now our center here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we need to, to be accurate. Okay. So we now have the the locus. We cannot come this way because this if we come to the other side, then um, we will still treat this one as the chord, and we therefore need to move this center also to the other side. We can do it um, in a number of ways, but I think there is no harm in constructing this angle once more here and here, because it will take uh, a very short time. We could also move this center to this side by first of all constructing a perpendicular here. But let's move the angle. Okay. So we can make a 60 degree angle there. And uh, also on the other side. Okay. It means now we'll be able to get the center even on the other side of AB, because the question says very clearly, on both sides of the given line AB, construct the locus of a point P such that, or that moves such that angle APB. P will be on this arc now. We are going to show that just now. So, we complete the triangle on the other side. So again, we have the same center. The, the center on the, on the other side now has been moved to this side. And we complete the locus also on the lower side. have the locus now on both sides of the line AB. Now we can see that um, if P is on this arc here, this is point P. On the other side also, any point on this arc will give us P and we can confirm 
we can confirm that the angle APB will always be 30 degrees. So this angle is 30 because this angle is 60. This angle here is 30. So this is an example of P and this angle at the center is 60. So we have been able to construct the locus of a point P, this one here, such that angle APB is equal to 30. APB is 30. APB, 30. APB, based on the fact that the angle subtended at the center is always equal to two times the angle at the circumference. So we are going to stop here for now. In the next lesson, we are going to look at a question from <clears throat> the KCSE based on loci. So whatever, what is remaining now is just working out uh, different questions on intersecting loci and other loci like this one. So we stop there. Remember to subscribe because we will continue um, uh, discussing those topics that have that challenge some of uh, the learners. So from, from me now is goodbye until we meet again in the next lesson.